Hello and welcome to my vlog. My name is Michael Niklaus. I'm from Belgium and six and a half years ago I made my best decision ever in my life and I stopped drinking alcohol. Why did I stop drinking alcohol? Because I had a big problem with it. I was not the alcoholic guy who was uh, drinking during all day, every day. But I was a guy and every time I went to a party I was drunk. I was drunk three, four, five times a week. And one day when I was 25 my life changed. I went to a festival. I was so drunk there that I gave an interview on the national television in Belgium and I didn't remember anything. One little detail also was that that day I was on the festival I bought a dress I bought a dress to, to, to joke around and to be funny for my friends and with that dress I came on the television I didn't remember anything my father called me and this is the day that my life changed it was 17 July 2011 since that day I stopped drinking alcohol and since that day I am sober. In Belgium I am an alcohol expert, I'm an alcohol coach. I run a company, it's called The Best Decision. And I'm already doing my videos for five years in Dutch. I've learned so much uh, about alcohol. I wrote a lot of books about it in Belgium, in my mother language in Dutch. And I thought now it was time to share my message for everybody. I know my English is not the best, but it's by doing and doing that I will learn and I will speak better English. For me it's important to spread a message. And what is the message that I want to spread is that if you have problems with alcohol, if you drink 20 beers or wines a week or 40 or 80, it doesn't matter if you think of yourself you have a problem with alcohol you can stop I stopped when I was 25 years I drank for seven years in a row and I stopped by learning how alcohol works I stopped by reading books about alcohol about what is alcohol and it changed my perspective. In Belgium I'm an alcohol coach and I help people to quit drink. And what I do is always like I, I work with people who are saying I don't, uh, I, I, I cannot drink anymore to I don't want to drink anymore. I try to get the people smarter and that people get more aware of what they do. That's what I do in Belgium. I already helped hundreds of people by changing their view on alcohol. A lot of people think they're addicted to the product of alcohol, but we are addicted to the beliefs that we have about alcohol. And that's very major happening. So now I'm already six and a half years sober and I really make this video to share my message, to share to people that if you want to quit, you can. In these six and a half years, there already happened so much. It's been a process to stay sober, but it is possible. A lot of people think it's so very difficult and it's not always easy, but it's easier than we think. If you understand how alcohol works and why that you are drinking, then it's like a puzzle that can come together. The day I was on the national television, I was drunk as hell. The next day I was talking with my father. He was like, Michael, please, please stop drinking. You will die. You will die, you do so crazy stuff, you drive your car, you will die. That had an impact on me, 
I started thinking about myself and the next question my father told me was like Michael, you're 25 years, what is your purpose of life? I didn't know it at all. I was 25, what is the purpose of life? I don't know. But that day my life changed because I started writing stuff down. I started to write stuff down about myself, about what happened with alcohol and for me this just by writing down it already changed my perspective. I always thought alcohol was so much fun so I was happy but I saw while I was writing down all the things that already happened that I was like whoa alcohol has already done so much damage and and I, I changed my perspective I started to learn about alcohol that alcohol was a hard drug like like cocaine and heroin and I was like whoa I, I, I don't want uh, to be addicted to this drug anymore and then there's a process that is starting you learn a lot you learn a lot about yourself and you also feel that while staying sober your your respect for yourself is growing and for me this is one of the major things that I wanted to stay sober because my respect for myself was growing 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 every day and in these six and a half years there there is so much things that happened but it's always been a pleasure to stay sober and are there hard times yes they are they are hard times there were hard times when i stopped and my friend didn't stop and they didn't respect my my point of view they didn't respect that i wasn't drinking anymore I, I told my family I quit drinking alcohol and they were telling me yeah but you can sometimes have a, a little glass but for me that was not possible when I started to drink I was always gone so for me I, I, it had to be absolute nothing and a lot of people questioned me they, they, they told me if it's the best idea but for me I felt for me there was alcohol was no good for me I I knew I talked to myself and I knew that I don't have control about alcohol and I accepted it I accept that I don't have control about alcohol if you go to AA meetings the one one of the first steps is accepting that you don't have control about alcohol for me that step was the most difficult step and it's the step that if you can admit it that you have a problem then you are already a little bit released then you are a little bit more free and there's so much things that happened so the first step was really admitting it to myself and it was not easy I was 25 and I was admitting that I have an, uh, I had an alcohol problem that I was an alcoholic but I felt it was, it was right to stop. And then my life started to change little by little. I saw that all, all my friends who were drinking a lot, I, I, I went out partying with them, but I felt it, it wasn't my world anymore. If I can draw something, and for me this is what stop, stopping uh, with alcohol means, it's like, I'm, I'm just um, I'm just drawing it if you see this picture you see here this was my old life with my friends with the drinking and I felt there was a new life for me coming with other things with sobriety with fun with things but a lot of people stay in this zone they have fear but what I've learned in my life is that we have to jump in the fear. We have to go for it. And I was long in this here, like, yeah, should I stop? Should I not stop? And the day I stopped, then I went that way. And I started to do new stuff. A lot of people think if they quit alcohol, they will miss a lot. And I also thought it. I really, I thought like, oh no, will I have fun? Can I... Can I, will I laugh? 
will it be enjoyable life? But the interesting it was the day that I quit, I was like, whew, I was released. I was like, yeah, there was a new world coming that I was like a little child, like, okay, give it to me world. When I stopped drinking, there was so much time. Three or four nights a week I was drunk and I stopped and I had so much time. And what did I do with all this free time? I was, I was uh, reading books, I was learning about life. I was learning from gurus and from other people how life worked, what the strategies were to stay happy, to be happy. And now I'm six and a half years sober and I'm gonna tell a lot more stuff about myself and about how I stayed sober. But I also want to reach out to you guys. Like if you have questions, if you are sober, if you, f if you feel good, if you don't feel good, feel free to, to, to comment and to leave your question behind. I will make a video for it. I know there are a lot of people like me. They want to stop, but they don't know how. And if I can reach out for you and I can give you tips or tricks to stay sober, then we have a brighter world, a world with more light, a world with people who are more happy, a world with people who are connected to themselves. Because if we drink a lot, we are not connected to, to, we are, to, we have to, to who we have to be. It's so important to, to, to reach out. And if you have uh, questions, just let me know. So this was my first uh, new vlog and uh, it's my mission to, to spread the message. That's my mission. I want to spread the message. I'm going to do all my videos. I'm going to give them for free. I, I don't need anything for it because I want to share my message to the world. I am in Belgium. Uh, I'm an expert. And they call me for the television, they call me for the newspapers. And I did it now in Belgium, but we are here with 10 million people. I shared my message, I wrote books about it. I wrote eight books in Dutch already in uh, Belgium. And now it's time to, to share it to the world, to everybody, what I want to share. So, you can always help me to share this message, to, to share it to your friends. And I just want to... What is the main message if, if you have a lot of respect for yourself and respect for your body, then alcohol is not the best thing for you. And I also want to share the other message is that you can stop drinking alcohol if you want. In the beginning, when I was 25 and I was telling to people I'm going to stop drinking, a lot of people say it's so difficult, it will never work. And I'm here to say to everyone who is watching this video, you can't stop. I am the example that it is possible. And if I can do it, you can do it. Good luck.